a flimsy lunch tray here and welcome to order warships as today is going to be a topic video and we're going to be spending some time looking in the armory at the naval community as i want to briefly chat about community tokens i made a video a while back of how to best earn or more quickly earn community tokens so i'll link that at the video end of this video um, but for now i want to just talk about some things in the naval community uh in the armory um, they've changed from the last time I made that video, they changed things around. There were some ships that you could pick up here. I think Leningrad was like 20,000 uh, community tokens or something like that. Uh, and then you could get some lower ships. And then other than that, I think most all things um, haven't changed. And so I've been saving up community tokens. And the kind of reasons I was making this video uh, was I was just kind of thinking in my head um, a few days ago. I uh, was like, yeah, I'm going to save up 30,000 community tokens um, to pick up a tier 7 ship. Um, granted, uh, you don't get to pick which ship, but you can get, you'll guarantee you get one of these. Uh, you're just not sure which one you're going to get. And I was like, man, like 15,726 community tokens. And I've been saving up for a good bit now. But I'm like, ah, this, this feels expensive. And if you already have all the items in the ship, they used to, uh, the premium ship container, uh, you get credits. It used to be doubloons, so that was an easy way for people to farm doubloons uh, just by some of the premium uh, containers uh, that they had here. Uh, so you just pick up, you know, this low tier one for 8,500, and then you would just get uh, doubloons back. But we're even kind of figured that out. I don't know if I actually talked about it in my video or not. Uh, but one of the things they also have is they have these recruiting station containers. So um, they have ones of different levels. So here you can see. Uh, you can get uh, a premium ship, looks like tier 3 through tier 5. Um, looks like only of these five ships that you can pull from. Doubloons, uh, coal, premium account, free XP, so on and so forth. Then you go up to the next one for 1,500 uh, community tokens instead of the 500. You can see the rewards go up, so now we're looking at uh, these five ships, tier 5 through tier 6, uh, the Krispy Kreme. Um, you know, more free XP, and then you go up to the veteran recruiting station container, and you still, the chance of still getting a ship is the same, uh, but uh, now we're looking at here and seeing that we have um, tier six through tier eight ships that you can possibly uh, pick up from one of these containers. Not only that, um, of course, the doubloons are higher. If you get more coal, 30 days premium, Special signals, which I'm sure by 11.6, as this video is being recorded during 11.5 update, um, this might turn into something like economic bonuses, free XP, credits, so on and so forth. So the question becomes when you're like trying to figure out, oh, do I really want to be able to um, spend my community tokens on? Um, a chance at getting a ship or actually being able to guarantee pick up a tier 7 ship um, and part of that depends on like when you come in here is there a ship that you would really like to have um, I have these two um, Duke of York is plays really similar to um, the tech tree tier 7 ship King George V you know Atlanta Indianapolis Boise I'd really like to have those I had Leningrad um, Weimar would probably be fun to have uh, but I'm like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'm uh, feeling uh, sa waiting so long to save up naval community tokens. So I'm going to splurge today. Uh, I'm going to pick up five of these uh, veteran recruiting station containers. Of course, if the rewards aren't as big a deal to you, like I have the kid, I have the Ashitaka, but I don't have uh, these three guys. I'd like to actually pick up Prince Eugen. Uh You can, of course, have more community tokens, and I would be able to purchase more of uh, these seasoned or even the junior, but we're going to pick up these because why not? And we're going to go open them because that's kind of the point of you being here, right? So we're just going to open them one at a time. Makes sense. Credits, always need credits. More credits. 
30 days premium, that's pretty nice, especially when you're getting those naval community tokens, you're just getting them for free, right? But of course, picking up a ship is extremely low and uh, Leviathan flags. So after having uh, those five containers, perhaps you're asking, Flimsy, did you feel like that was worth it? I mean, I'm sure 30 days of premium was probably the most valuable thing I picked up uh, from that. And maybe some of you are going yelling like, why didn't you get these? It's like, well, sometimes they do these uh, on sale and they're like only 2,000 uh, community tokens. Otherwise, not going to go for it. Um, but uh, when we're looking at the chances here, uh, of course, the, the special signals is where you're going to have the most likely chance. Um, but it's a good possibility. So for me, yeah, it's, uh, I didn't mind dropping 15,000 naval community tokens. It's totally up to you. Of course, you can also pick up uh, some cool... Um, different uh, perma camos, uh, but I don't really play any of these ships here a lot. Like Leningrad might be the one I would play the most, and you already get a perma camo with it. So, um, but the chance to maybe pick up one of those other ships was nice. Um, even these guys, yeah, maybe, but uh, maybe this would have been worth it. But uh, I don't know. Just trying to showcase uh, what you can be able to do in. Uh, you getting a chance of seeing what did it look like to get five containers. So uh, we had a 6% chance of picking up the 30 days premium. So yeah, that's what it looks like. So um, if you're newer to the game and you're asking where should I most invest in saving up my tokens, um, what would I tell you? What would I tell you? I mean, probably just save up maybe for just uh, these... Uh, lower tiered ones i'd probably say specifically this one um because you have a good chance of picking up um some decent tier five premium ships here that otherwise you know if you got to spend doubloons for and pick up but they're cheap uh, they're not uh, insanely expensive so so that's what it looks like to get uh some of those uh, veteran recruiting station containers so if you liked today's video, give it a thumbs up. If you did not, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe if you do want to see more. If you're subscribed, thanks so much. I really appreciate it. And we'll catch you here next time. Take care.